Hey, good morning. Uh, let me straighten this out a little bit. We are one day, well, it's been two days since the last video. Had a bunch of stuff going on yesterday and just could not find the time to record uh, anything. Uh, went out and did some co-working and uh, a couple things around town. Um, I got my dog joining me in the video today. Uh, we are... Yeah, we're back back home trying to figure out what to work on today. I have a couple different things. Um, this uh, this today this morning we're gonna keep working on this YouTube linker project. Specifically, I'm gonna look at uh, what did we do two days ago. So we added a lot of configuration stuff like API calls and and everything there. And I think today what we can do is is finally deploy it and actually get it hosted somewhere. So I have the URL 7.dev, which is a WordPress blog right now that I'm gonna replace with this website and it's gonna have a listing of all of my YouTube videos. I think the, the two things I'm gonna do, so like one, deploy it, and I'm gonna do one UI change today that I can't believe I haven't, uh, I, you know, I think I almost built it on the first day, but I didn't have real data yet, so I didn't have the opportunity to really see it through, which is actually sorting the videos. Uh, right now, it's just like a weird listing of videos. Uh, what I need to do is sort it um, by most recently published. And um, yeah, I'll need to do pagination as well, but I'm not going to do that today. I'll do it a different day. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for uh, for my intro. Um, is there anything else worth talking about before I head over the computer? I don't think so. So let's hop over and, uh, and yeah, start doing a little bit of code. So yeah, uh, a couple of days ago, we, um, let's take a look at our, uh, not our root, but our, not our root, but our route, uh, our index route, which we had set up here. Uh, we had set up this process env YouTube API key, and then we had this config file, which was just config.js, which was the actual configuration uh, for the kind of front end of the application, right? So basically two things we wanted to do. Um, first, we want to sort these in a way that makes sense. So we have uh, this section right here, which is where the pinned videos are. That's those videos that we call out in the config that get this. And you know what, let me actually open up the, the UI. Uh, just so you can actually see what this looks like. So our pinned videos are rendered here as like larger videos. And then we have this list here of everything else, right? So what we want to do is probably write a sorting, uh, write a sorting algorithm that uh, just parses the dates, like the published at dates, and then be able to sort both of them, right? So we need to actually see uh, what the I don't I don't really recall what the structure is of the video data so let's refresh here so we have publish time and published at they're the same so I don't really know what the difference is there but we'll just grab published at it seems a little bit more robust and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say sort videos and this is going to take in uh, two videos A and B. And these are uh, string, like date strings. So <clears throat> let's just see, can we parse this? Uh, whoops, that already has quotes on it. Can we parse this into uh, a date here? Uh, can I? No. So I did get day here and realize no idea what that is. There's a date dot parse. Oops, again, this has quotes. Uh, to string? No. I'm very bad with date parsing, I'm not gonna lie to you. So, um, JavaScript parse ISO date. It might be some variation of parse date, right? So D dot to string. Oh. Well, I mean, that is a, let's do this. Let, let's see what it actually, huh? I mean, I guess that works. I don't know why get day returned four. 
but that that is <clears throat> mostly correct i'm not 100 percent sure what the time zone because i guess the z is probably utc time uh this is fine though this is just, I, this will totally work so we will say uh date a is new date uh a dot snippet dot published at uh, let me shrink that down just a little bit date b is b dot snippet and then what we will have as like a date there is so this will be an instance of that and then i think isn't no it's not two in it's uh can I just to number? No. Can I just coerce it into a number like that? Yeah. And let's see if I add a year here, that number is larger. So what I will do is return uh, number A is less than number B. Okay. And so then we'll do that. That all seems good. And then we'll just say sort videos here. We'll just wrap that entire thing sort videos and it did not like that uh oh what am i doing well that's because that's not how you call it you would call sort and then you'd say sort videos right because this is going to actually take in that function uh <laughs> sort sort videos right that should work um now let's take a look at the order here so that's not 100% correct, obviously. Two things. So first off, I mean, this kind of looks like sorted, right? Three, four, seven. But we know it's actually going in the wrong direction. So let's do this. And let's pull those up to the top. Now, I'm. this is still, these are wrong, right? Uh, I'm not sure why. So zero. this is index 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's take a look at those two. So this would be uh, other videos three and other videos four. I wonder if there's like a weird value there. Published at 2023, published at 2023. So that looks like reasonable, but something is still wrong here. Uh, let me re hard refresh again. Seven, four, three, yeah, like some something's weird here. I don't really know what it is. Oh, let's do this. Uh, publish dates equals uh, vid uh, yeah videos dot map video dot snippet dot published at and then let's actually log these published dates and let's let's look at all of them in sequence and see if there's anything. Uh, it happening on the client side. I don't really have a great like intuition as to why that's the case, but what I'm kind of wondering is if I need to like sort them in the loader. I, I don't really know why. It just feels like that's something I probably should do because it's something like with the component not being like deterministic. I, I, I really don't know. It's like, see, look, some just got jacked up there when I did that. And now these are at the bottom. Very strange. Something's wacky here. I wonder what it says in the logs. And I also just, yeah, did something bad there. So if I do a hard refresh, there's no errors. It does seem like it kind of makes a difference. Well, no, now it's just not making a difference at all. So something is really wacky here. Can I call, can I sort it again? Yeah, no, the client side sorting is definitely... Look at that. That's our that's part of our problem here. Does not match what was rendered on the server. Yeah, there's there's some weirdness going on here. So we probably want this to be sorted. Well, so first off, I think we may want to try and sort this here. Uh and just for people who are following all of these videos, let me pull this up. For people who are following all these videos, you know that every single time I record, I then get to a point where I am trying to work in Vim and I say, oh, uh, I still don't have IntelliSense set up. And so I can't actually do like 
know what parameters are or what should be passed in or whatever. Uh, big update for uh, for all that stuff. I do have that running on one of my other computers, just not the one where I actually record things and do useful stuff in. So um, eventually at this point, it will probably take about uh, another month and a half for me to actually remember to do that at some point. So uh, thank you for bearing with me. Eventually I will get there and, and do uh, something productive with my editor. We're just not quite there yet. So... Well, part of the reason, I guess, pfft, look at that, hilarious. So part of it could be maybe that I have bad types. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm trying to write things that are TypeScript-like, but not actually doing it correctly. Oops, whatever. Um, point is, we want to sort this, right? So list, <clears throat> we want options. No, we don't want options. We want params, channel ID. Well, I, I don't really know what we want, but order. Yeah. So we're back on this page again. We've been here multiple times at this point. Actually quite a useful endpoint. We just want to know how the order works. Now it says order is not even a thing, which is unfortunate. Oh, this is, is this channels list? channels is that what we're doing we're doing channels no we're doing the search endpoint all right here we go so search uh da, 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 da. order date yes so this will be order date no error there so we think that's probably the right way to do it let's refresh and look at that this is actually an order. Oh my gosh, shouldn't have been that hard, but that's okay. And we did lose a pinned video. You know what? We probably lose the pinned video because we have no pagination. Oh man, should I just build pagination real quick? Ugh. This is where I wish I had Copilot installed because I think Copilot could knock this out real quick and I don't know if I really want. Okay, well, it's been five seven, eight minutes of me trying to implement pagination. And I'm like, this sucks. I'm not doing this right now. I'll go and find a code snippet and just, I don't care that much. 50 videos, I think is enough for this. If you need more, you can go to the YouTube page and look at the full profile, right? That's fine. I think that's an acceptable compromise. Um, and if we refresh here, it looks pretty good. Um, I think the one thing that I want to do is I want to in these pinned videos, um, if it's pinned, this is our like sort of pinned conditional, I want to do a, isn't there a push pin? Yeah, I wanna do this for now. It's not great. Uh, I, I don't really love this, I, this way of doing it, but it's fine. I, I think it'll be acceptable for now. So it can either be deployed as like a workers or a pages application. And in this case, uh, I believe it's going to be a workers application, though I'll say I'm not 100% sure sometimes how these things get deployed. But in this case, it is a server rendered application, right? We have the server route that pulls the YouTube data on the back end inside of this workers serverless function. And then it also server renders the page to the user. Um, so what we'll do is we'll create a new application and let's take a little look see loo here. Cause I'm not a hundred percent sure that we've even actually set this up for pages I, or workers for that matter. I think we need to add, uh, we need to add some stuff here. Yeah. We, we need to like change stuff actually pretty significantly, which I had not considered before, before this. I'm almost wondering if what we should do is literally just make a whole new repo thing, con config everything, new directory, and pull everything over into that and then deploy that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, it's kind of a pain. Uh, but what I'm gonna say is this uh, from the docs here, and I'll make this bigger. You can't, I always like people can't read this stuff. I need to make things bigger. So sorry, guys. Um, 
Can I hide this also? I want this to... I guess you just can't hide that. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in this Create Cloudflare Latest, my remix app. I'm going to call this YT Lister. Uh, we'll just say V2. This is just a purely local name for it, right? Because I'm just going to replace the existing GitHub repo. This is using Create Cloudflare, which is a sort of wizard that we have for creating stuff, right? And then what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll full screen this actually. Yes, yes, new Git repository. Yes, we'll install NPM. Uh, the only dependency that we currently have is this Google APIs. So we'll make sure that gets installed as well. And then once the dependencies are done installing, we will, uh, well, let's actually just do it instead of talking about it. Let's open up YT Lister v2 and let's copy some stuff over. So YT Lister config. Both config files will come. That's our um, like channel configuration as well as the example file. And then we will also pull over the uh, index route into here. And then we will install Google APIs, which is our single dependency. And we'll uh, open up this new project here or new you know directory. And let's actually see if we can uh, run it locally, uh, off to a really bad start. Uh, let me close this old directory here. Let's go to YT Lister v2. Let's open this one up in Zellige. I'm going to go back to the command line now. And what do we got here? So, uh, npm run dev might be a good start. Let's see what happens when I run that. Localhost 5173. Uh, ah, we are missing, right, we, we're missing our uh, .env. So let's copy that over. Now, since the last video, I did roll that API key, so I'm going to try not to show it now because I have to go roll it again, which would be super annoying. Um, and we're also missing Daisy uh, UI. Right, so YT Lister Tailwind. Uh, let's copy that over. And then let's install, I think it's just Daisy UI, just like that. NPM run dev, refresh, there we go. All right, we're, we're basically back where we were with the added, uh, added configuration stuff, if we open up entry.server for Cloudflare. And so the way this works is we basically, as I understand it, I'm not certainly not an expert. I do work at Cloudflare, but I'm not the person who architected this. So this is like layman developer understanding is basically what we have is a uh, wildcard pages function, which is like a JavaScript file that will get uh, run on any path. That's what this uh, double sort of double bracket thing is here. So on any path, this function will get executed. And this function grabs the built uh, server, the remix server, and then it says on request, create this function handler that proxies to the remix, um, you know, built in remix, like server rendering stuff. Now, the only downside to doing this uh, locally, as, as I understand it, is we're not actually currently testing. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, no, we need to run npm start. And if I do that, is it going to error out on me? Yeah. So we need to build it. I need to spell build correctly. We need to build it first, and then we can run it. No, we can't. And why is that? Uh, we need to add the Node.js compat flag. <clears throat> I'm not really sure where we do that. Let's try and deploy it and let's see what happens. Um, so, because I, I think we're most of the way there right now. So what I'm going to do is let's go back to this. Let's grab our uh, remote here. And uh add origin uh oh i missed a t there well what what do you mean we already have one? Oh, well i'm in the same direction <laughs> let's go to v2 remote add origin and then we're going to push 
origin main. We're actually going to force push. We're just going to overwrite it. And then we're going to push that config up. Okay, yeah, I think we're good to go. Back to here. So we're going to go to pages. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. We're going to create uh, by importing an existing Git repository. We should see YT Lister right here at the top. We'll say begin setup. The preset here, I think, will be remix. Well, let's try it. Um, I'm going to add <clears throat> one last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add the Google API key here. I'm going to do it off screen, obviously. But this will just be like Google API key, right? And it'll just be the API key we made in the last video. So that's the only part that I'm going to change here. And it's actually uh, YouTube API key is what I called it. Okay, so going to set this and then we'll come back in a sec. Okay, so we set up the deployment. Not 100% sure this is going to work. We'll see. Uh-huh, yeah, we already have a problem. I think the node version needs to be uh, higher. I can change that. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll still build. So it's running Vite build. It has configured functions. Yeah, look at all these errors. This is the same thing I ran into before. Okay, so we need to figure that out. So Wrangler configuration doc. We want the node compatibility, which is this node.js compat compatibility flag. Oh, or is it this one? Okay, well, we will add both of them, I guess. Uh, open up Wrangler Toml here. So we're going to say this, and then we're going to say this. I think this node compat is the one that it told me to do. We'll see. Going to push that up, and then we should just get a new build that has started. So let's continue to project. Yep, I know it doesn't work. Let's look at this new commit. It's going to start building, configuring. <laughs> Okay, I need to look at the specific pages uh, stuff, I guess. So da, 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 da. let's see, let's just search node. Well, let's do compat configuration via Wrangler Toml. Okay, it's just, it's this one, compatibility flags. So Take this one out. I'm going to do another git push here. Just a quick commit uh, and push. Let's go back to our deploys. We should have a third one here. Let's see what that one does. Hopefully this one will work. And if it doesn't, we're about 30 minutes, so I will just call it uh, a no-go and move on uh, to probably fix it off camera and I'll catch you up tomorrow if that's the case if that's what happens yeah because we're getting uh, we're getting more issues here so not exactly the most uh, successful day I guess you could say that's okay we didn't quite get everything done that we wanted to get done but it was close enough right um, we got the sorting stuff done which makes a big difference actually makes it a lot easier to, to understand and I'll keep working on the build stuff. I think there's probably just one thing I'm missing somewhere. So I'll go look at some of my other Remix projects and figure out what the config that I'm missing is. It may involve literally just copying over the config from a different project that I already know works. Um, but that's okay. We're making progress. Um, so we'll probably spend one more day on this. And then, uh, and then tomorrow or Thursday, we'll get to the cool kind of... Uh, the, the new stuff that I'm thinking about hacking on. So uh, yeah, thanks so much uh, for watching and see you in the next one.